Hello out there, same friends. This is the Midi Man again, coming at you from Walk's Music. We get another word for the day. Old Midi Man has been kind of tied up in the last few days, and uh, I kind of missed the, doing the word like the last couple of days. And we apologize. We got caught up in some things and some things that that I had on the took and had planned out and. I had the privilege of seeing every one of those plans fail. <laughs> and so, he said, many are the plans of a man, but it's God's purpose that prevails. Believe me. This past couple of weeks, I've tried to do some things musically. And I mean, everything that I lined up, everything that I thought that was on the money, and everything was on the up and up, and I had the privilege, like I said, seeing every one of them go down the drain. And legitimate, even though the reasons were legitimate, it couldn't be helped on some of them. But nevertheless, and then on top of that, I one of my recording channels on my uh, on my recording PC in my studio, it decided it would go out. I never seen that happen before. This the, the, the video, the the audio, it just sounds terrible on that one channel. It seems like the waveform is only going halfway. I only got a positive side of the waveform, no negative side, and it sounds very, very bad. But nevertheless, nevertheless, God is still on the throne. And today, I got a real appropriate scripture for me. I don't know if this will help you, but I know this is something that I had to do. And I had to just do just what it said, and that's stand. I want to go to the book of uh, letter Paul letter to the Ephesians, sixth chapter, and we're going to start reading at the tenth verse. And it reads as follows: Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the blessed prayer of righteousness, and your feet shod with the God, preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication unto the Spirit, in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. And people, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out what Paul was speaking there. And as I told you, this, the last two weeks, I had to do that very same thing. I had to just stand because everything that was put into place, everything that I thought that it should be, none of it came to pass. Everything went down the two. I mean, one by one. So, instead of having a negative attitude and a bad attitude about it, I just had to stand on his word. On his word alone. Knowing that he is able to keep what I ever commit to him, he's able to keep it. And I was, went to my, I went to my little old keyboard here. That's what I like I do. All I could do. And I thought about that. Hallelujah. The highest praise. We must give God the highest praise. We thank Him for the good and the bad. Because all things work together to the good of those that love the Lord. So, therefore, 
when things don't work out, and I had to tell myself this many times because you don't understand. And I really, it really got me. I, 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 I was beginning to get upset. I was beginning to get upset because I felt like everything was, you know, was just going to hell in a handbasket and for no reason. And I mean, all the stuff that we were, I was trying to do was legitimate. And we do all for the glory of God, but not all the time, people, I, I, I learned a lesson that regardless to whether we're doing it for the glory of God, sometimes it doesn't have anything to do with the motive behind it. Are you trying to do this thing because of you, full of you? Or is it some ulterior motive you're doing it other than just for the glory of God? We need to check ourselves on that. But like I said, even to the fact that when things don't work according to the way we want them, then look for something else. Look for another way. Look for another answer. Nine times out of ten is right there. Sometimes you have to do things and not rely on the assistance of others. Because most of the time, you, you, don't, have, you don't have control of time in your hands. None of us do. So we just must rely on only the here and now. Only the here and now. So we use our talents and our gifts. And like I said, music, universal language. And we should use it just as such for the edifying, the building up of the kingdom of God. That's what we should use it for. In my opinion, I know that many times it's being used for a whole lot of other stuff. And I'm not trying to judge anyone, but I'm talking about as far as me. I will keep my music clean and dedicated to the glory of God. That it may heal someone. They are those that need healing. Those that need restoration of mind. But people, we're living now in a time where people don't want to do right. People could care less about something worth something. But now you can, you can, you, you put up some junk. I mean, you look at all our networks, social networks. We got a lot of them. You got Facebook. You got, you got MSN and, you know, you and Bebo and all the rest of them. You got a lot of them. YouTube, where you could really... Do, you know, they, 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 they could, you could really do some good on those social networking sites. But if you just notice things, if someone put up some foolishness on one of those sites, you will get a whole lot of commotion behind that. You get a whole lot of uh, light shed on that. If it's about some foolishness or some sin or something. And I'm not trying to be said right because I got many faults. But thanks be to God that give us a victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What I'm saying here, if you put something worth something, people don't people not worried about that. That's even in your churches today. People not worried about something that's kosher, something that's really worth. But if you put on there about who were going with who that saw somebody don't going over there to the motel six or something like that, there you'll get a whole lot of folk following that. Because people love smut. But nevertheless, I say let's keep it clean and let's keep it real, people. Let's keep it clean, let's keep it real. Those that you said that you believe and love the law, you ought to show some sign. You ought to show some sign because believe it or not, whether good or bad, we all going to be judged for what we do, not for what somebody else does. So this is the Middle Man saying peace and goodbye.